If you're thinking about quitting coding because you can't see any progress, I get it. I've been there a long time ago. You stare at the screen, everything looks like it's in Chinese, and your brain is just static. You start wondering if maybe you're not just cut out for this, but before you throw your laptop out the window or convince yourself that code farming might be your true calling, give me 8 minutes. I'm going to show you exactly why you feel like you're failing and how to turn that around. The truth is, most people who start learning to code never make it past the basics. They burn out in tutorial hell, get overwhelmed and give up. But I'm going to do my best to make sure you don't become one of them. Because in this video, I'm giving you a dead simple five-step plan to break through the stuck feeling and actually start seeing real progress. But before we dive in, I need you to hear this. You're not broken. You're not behind. You're not alone. What you're feeling right now, every developer has been through it. You might have this little voice whispering, maybe coding isn't for me. Hey, I've heard that voice too. But let's be clear, quitting isn't an option. Not today. Not after all the time and brain power you've already put into this. That voice, it's lying. So let's turn it off for now and keep going. Before I give you the five-step game plan, let's talk about why you're feeling stuck. Most people start coding with that fire. You're pumped, inspired, maybe you've even watched a montage of developers typing cool stuff with lo-fi music in the background. You dive into HTML, CSS, maybe you throw in some JavaScript. But after a few weeks, reality hits. Stuff gets hard. Projects don't work. Stack overflow answers don't help and you start to feel like you're running in circles. Then the comparisons start. You see other developers online building insane projects, tweeting in perfect TypeScript, pushing code to GitHub like they're in the matrix, and you're just sitting there struggling with a basic calculator app. Their portfolios look like agency websites and yours still says hello world. And to make things worse, your friends and family they don't get it. They ask stuff like, why don't you just use Wix? Or are you even making money doing this? Yeah, that part sucks too. And after a while, what you thought learning to code would be fun, empowering, maybe even a little magical, starts to feel more like a grind. Like an endless loop of confusion and error messages. This right here is where most people quit. But here's the truth. This isn't the end of your dev journey. This is the messy middle, the hard part. And it's exactly the part that separates the people who talk about learning to code from the ones who actually make it. All right, let's talk about why you're stuck. And I'm going to be brutally honest here, not to offend you, but to wake you up a little. Because the truth is, most beginner coders stay stuck for way too long. Not because they're lazy or not smart enough, but because they're focused on the wrong things. And at bet good money, you're probably doing at least one of them right now. Mistake number one, binge watching tutorials. First, you might be trapped in the idea that if you just watch more tutorials, eventually everything will click. But that's just output, not outcome. Watching five more JavaScript crash courses won't magically make you a developer. It just makes you really good at watching tutorials. If you're not building, if you're not getting stuck and figuring stuff out on your own, then you're not really learning. You're just buffering. Mistake number two, stack hopping. You might be stuck in what I call stack hopping. You try HTML and CSS, then jump to JavaScript. Then suddenly you're deep in Tailwind and React and thinking maybe Svelte Kit is the answer to your problems. Spoiler, it's not. You're still early in the process. You don't need a fancy framework, you need focus. If you keep switching stacks every two weeks, you're just restarting the tutorial treadmill over and over. Pick one stack and go deep. Mistake number three, inconsistency. You code for three days straight, then vanish for two weeks. You start the project, then leave it half finished because some shiny new course popped up. Look, progress in coding comes from momentum. Every time you ghost your code editor, it's like hitting reset on your brain. Consistency builds skill confidence and clarity. And guess what? The more consistent you are, the faster you will suck less. Mistake number four, passive learning, no retention. You're probably not retaining anything you're learning. You go through a three hours course, feel like a genius for 15 minutes, and then forget 90% of it by the next day. That's because passive learning doesn't stick. Real retention comes from doing, from struggling, debugging, googling for hours, and finally figuring out why your function wasn't returning anything. That pain, that's where the learning happens. Watching isn't enough. Clicking run without understanding, still not enough. You need to get your hands dirty. Good news, it's all fixable. None of this is permanent. You're not stuck because you're incapable. 
You're stuck because no one showed you how to actually learn to code properly. And now that you see the traps, you can actually dodge them. So here's what we're going to do. A five step game plan that will pull you out of tutorial hell, get you building real stuff and help you start feeling like an actual developer. You can start using it right after this video. So here's the five step plan. Build something, anything. And no, I don't mean copying another to do app tutorial. I mean, pick a super simple idea, a code generator, a weather app, a tiny blog, and build it yourself from scratch. No handholding. You will fail a bit. It will be messy. Perfect. That's exactly the point. That's where the learning lives. Step two, stick to one stack. Pick a tech stack and stick to it for 90 days. No more bouncing from React to Vue to Svelte to whatever's trending on Dev's Twitter. Choose one like HTML, CSS and vanilla JavaScript or if you're feeling ready, React. Then go deep into these languages. Mastery comes from focusing. Switching stacks every week is just procrastination wearing a framework hoodie. Step three, code more than you watch. Stop binge watching tutorials. Set a rule 20% watching, 80% doing. If you're watching a 10 minute video, you better be coding for 40 minutes. Learning to code is a Netflix. You don't get better by consuming, you get better by struggling, breaking stuff, and then figuring out how to fix it. That's how your brain levels up. Step four, don't code alone. Find a community, a Discord server, a coding buddy, a mentor, even if it's someone who's just a few steps ahead of you. Share your wins, your stuck moments, your ugly projects. Coding in isolation is one of the fastest ways to burn out. You need more nerds in your corner. Step five, 90 day challenge. Now, give yourself 90 more days. That's it, just 90 days. And during that time, commit to building one small project every week. It doesn't have to be beautiful. It doesn't have to be original. It just has to be done. If you do this, no matter how stuck you feel right now, you will get better. You will gain confidence, momentum, and prove that you can actually do this. Those next 12 projects, they could change everything. So if you're still watching, first of all, Respect. You didn't quit and that's exactly the mindset that's going to carry you through this whole coding thing. Now let's recap real quick. Build something even if it sucks. Pick a stack and commit to it. Watch less, code more. Get some dev buddies and give yourself 90 more days. Just 90. Three months. You're not behind, you're not too late. You're just early in the process. And if it feels hard, good. That means you're doing it right. Now, if you gain some moment of clarity, drop a like and let me know in the comments where you're at in your journey. I read every single comment and reply to it. And if you want more brutally honest dev advice with a sarcastic smile, hit that subscribe button. I'm Pete, this is Web Developed Pete, and I'll see you on the next one.